Huskers 0-3 for the first time since 1945. Sean, it's time to grade these things out. Now, F is the lowest grade you can give, so let's do offensively. Well, you got, you got to go F, um, you know, the way Nebraska competed, turnovers out of the gates, uh, just really no consistency, no pass protection, no ground game. Um, it didn't get much lower than we saw today. Six turnovers in the first quarter through three games by Nebraska's offense, defensively. Same thing. I, I think F again for the defense. Um, the most disheartening thing was Nebraska could not match the physicality of what Michigan was doing. They came in here and played old school Big Ten football, tight ends, fullbacks, and they were moving Nebraska. When they wanted to run, when they wanted to get short yardage, they had the bodies in place to move Nebraska. Michigan gained 491 yards to Nebraska's 132. Special teams, man, what in the world is the problem here? We saw penalties, another return for a touchdown by Donovan Peoples-Jones, um, obviously an F for this unit as well. A fumble. A fumble. But just everything that we saw a week ago was just as bad, if not worse. There was a made field goal, um, and that was really about it. There was nothing given in Nebraska with the return game. Uh, they started to just fair catch everything on kickoffs because it was smarter to be on the 25 than the 15. F, F, F. F, F, F. This yeah. might be a first. Yeah, I think it is the first. Scott Frost said it's time to hit the reset button, and that is a perfect time for right now as the Nebraska Cornhuskers will entertain the Purdue Boilermakers next Saturday at Memorial State. All right.